Hello! Welcome to my channel. This is me. That was the dirtiest intro ever. <laughs> Just walking into my room. Alright, so hi. My name is Laura. This is my channel. And this is my record collection video. This has been highly requested and I've put it off for the longest time. But you know what? Now I'm going to do it. There's a lot of records. There's more in this area, just like seven inches, and one that I had to take out of that section because uh, it's getting a little tight in there. I'm gonna try my best not to ramble too much, but knowing me, I probably will. Have a little tiny PSA for you guys. So in this video, I'm not trying to brag at all because it's taken me a decade to get my collection to the point that it currently is. I love music, I love collecting music, and I love buying music. I do also have a lot of CDs in my collection that are right underneath the vinyl records. But I started collecting records, I would say, yeah, 10 years ago. It was my very first Coachella and that's where I got introduced to Record Store Day. <laughs> And ever since then, I just have been collecting them and really valuing the whole experience that comes along with records. My dad used to own a lot of records. I didn't get to inherit them, sadly, because my grandma threw them away when he moved out. So I've had to start <laughs> building my collection from scratch, from nothing. So yeah, I just, I really love love the whole experience that comes along with it like I said so the first record and I do have this in alphabetical order we got some ABBA we got ABBA the album we also have ABBA Voulez-vous you guys know I love ABBA <laughs> we got more ABBA Super Trooper and even more ABBA Grandes Éxitos Volumen 2 which has some of their songs in Spanish. Then we have one of my favorite Australians right here. This is Alex Cameron, Forced Witness. Such a great album. I am so excited for his upcoming record. It's coming out really soon. Albert Hammond Jr., Francis Trouble. I love Albert Hammond Jr. He's my favorite member of The Strokes and I really liked his latest solo record. It's really good. Then we have a few Arcade Fire records right here. I picked this one up at Record Store Day a few years ago. This one's also a Record Store Day release. This is Sprawl 2. I'm ready to start this. I actually picked up in France. It was really cool. <laughs> and then I know this one was not received very well, but I personally really liked it. Everything now, Arcade Fire. Y'all are haters, but <laughs> I liked it, okay? And I do have some Vinyl Me Please records, starting with Arctic Monkeys. Classic record. I do really like Vinyl Me Please. I try to keep everything completely intact. So I still have the artwork as well. There we go. Not much to say about this. It's just a very good record. I'm not the biggest Arctic Monkeys fan, but I can appreciate their music. But then we have Air, and I love Air. Air is one of my favorite bands of all time. <laughs> I just really like French music, and uh, I like my French trifecta. I love Air, I love Phoenix, and I love Daft Punk. So for from Air, I have a few Air records. I have another one right here. So. Let's start with Moon Safari. This is a classic. If you haven't heard this, it's best when it's raining. It's such air, air music. It's just perfect rainy day weather music. It's stunning. Or night gazing music as well. And we have the version Suicides, which is this along with Lost in Translation. Both of them are some of my favorite soundtracks but this is just beautiful and i love this so much that i do also have it over here let me just swing you one of my friends painted me that so it's a very special special record 
special soundtrack. And I do also really love the movie as well. Then I do have some Record Store Day releases right here. This one is, I believe, the Casanova. Yeah, Casanova 70. So it does have a splattered design right here. A little hard to show you with my window open. But it looks like this. Then this is another Record Store Day release. This one is Le Soleil est près de moi. So it looks like this, kind of marbled. And then the last one in this section is Sexy Boy, which <laughs> the record itself is so damn cute. It's a little, it's a little monkey. So this one has Sexy Boy and then there's also a remix by Etienne de Crecy. So it's pretty cool. Then right here, this brings me back to my MySpace days. So, middle school, high school era, this is Amanda Blank. So, if you remember her, um, you're cool in my book. <laughs> you're a MySpace kid at heart. Here's another Vinyl Me Please exclusive. This is Beach House, Devotion. Beautiful album. I finally saw Beach House not too long ago at Just Like Heaven Music Festival, and um, it was amazing. It really was. I don't know why it took me so long to see Beach House Live, but it finally did. Then we have a few Beck albums. I do want to get more, but I have them on CD already. So we have Beck Odele right here. This is my shit. I used to love this album when I was a kid living in Tijuana. It was just such a weird, <laughs> such a weird album and it resonated with me so much. And then another one that I really love just because it's weird as well. A little bit more safe, but still weird. Beck Widow. Bueno. There were so many versions of this album. It was a little overwhelming, but I have the indie record store one, which is a clear yellow vinyl. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Not his best work as I said, but it's a, it's a fun album. Just not, not the Beck that I love. I try to keep most of my, my records in sleeves. I still need to get some more. And usually I buy these at Record City here in San Diego, but you can also get them online as well. Yeah, sometimes it's a struggle to get the sleeves. Here we have Beirut, one of the bands that I fell in love with back in high school. This is No No No. Then we have some older records that I've picked up on eBay and Record City here in San Diego. Billy Joel is one of my dad's favorite singers and I just, <laughs> I loved his voice and his music when I was a kid. So obviously I've started to collect Billy Joel records as well. So we have The Stranger right here. We have the nylon curtain, and also 52nd Street. The Bird and the Bee, classic album in my opinion. I first purchased this record when I traveled to Paris. Well, actually Rouen, north of Paris. This is one of my favorite, favorite albums. It's just, it, it grabs you, it hooks you, and you just become obsessed with Inara George's voice. And then you also have Greg Kirsten, who is a genius, I would say. I'm sure a lot of you know if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, but those of you who are new, hi. I'm a huge Killers fan. They're my favorite, my favorite band of all time. So this is Brandon Flowers. He's the lead singer of the Killers. Don't really have to say much about him, but this is his second solo album, The Desired Effect. I freaking love this album. I like his solo stuff. It's very it's different from the killers but i like that it's catchy he's playing with synths and electronic music in this one so yeah i love me some beef low breakbot another french dj this is his first full-length album by your side love me some french jesus chad valley is another artist that takes me back to my myspace days <laughs> this is equatorial Ultravox, one of my favorite pop bands from the last, <laughs> from the last, I don't know, decade, has been Chairlift. They're just, 
They used to make such great pop music, very catchy but weird at the same time. This is their second album, Something, which is my personal favorite. Then we also have Moth right here, which is their last record that they did. And then this is Caroline and Patrick, like when they went on their own and Aaron went his separate way. I just really liked them as a duo. They were so good. But I'm so excited for it. Um, Caroline Polachek doing her own thing. I'm definitely looking forward to that and you'll see more of Caroline in my collection. Then we have Chromio. This is Chromio White Woman, which is my... Well, between this and Fancy Footwork, I can't choose between those two. They're just really good albums. The reason why I have this <laughs> out of its actual packaging is because I met Dave One and P-Thug after their concert in San Diego a few years ago. They're super nice guys. Honestly, one of the nicest musicians ever. Uh, and they autographed my record. It's up in my record, my signed record wall. <laughs> this is one of my newest, uh, the newest additions, Christine and the Queens, Chris. I just saw Christina and the Queens in Guadalajara at Corona Capital and I was completely blown away. Such a good album. I mean, Christina and the Queens is amazing. If you haven't heard of Christina and the Queens, do yourself a favor. Just go on Apple Music, Spotify, whatever, and listen to Christina and the Queens. It's such soulful pop music. It's just such a good performer too. So now let's start with the D's. <laughs> Daft Punk. I want to have more Daft Punk records, but I'm still working my way. I have them all on CD. I just need to work my way through actually collecting them all on vinyl. But this is Random Access Memories. This is a masterpiece in my <laughs> opinion. This is another Daft Punk record. This was released on Record Store Day a few years ago. This is Daft Punk and Junio Kimbro. And this was my very first etched vinyl. So if I go a little bit closer, hopefully you'll be able to see. I know it's going to be hard with the reflection. You can see it a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, so my very first etched vinyl. Apart from being a very big fan of the killers and French artists, I'm also a humongous David Bowie fan. So I do have a few. David Bowie records in my collection. Let me just take them all out. We have 1966 right here. This I picked up on Record Store Day. We also have Aladdin Zane. Then this is Young Americans. We have Let's Dance. We have Changes, Bowie Legacy, and Bowie Now. Let's continue. We have Dua Lipa's debut album. She's one of my favorite contemporary pop singers then we have another record that's out of its <laughs> out of its packaging this is Devendra Mala Devendra Van Hart I also met Devendra a few years ago and uh, he is once again one of the nicest kindest musicians that I've met super talkative we were just talking to one another in Spanish and I also have his last record that he released but he'll be coming out with a brand new album in September September 13th I actually remember <laughs> but this is probably one of the weirdest covers this I found in a local thrift shop here in San Diego this is Duran Duran Arena recorded in 1984 now we're approaching the E's so first album in this category Ed Banger 15 years anniversary so for this record they had a show in Paris, a symphony show. So they remade the classic Ed Banger music <laughs> with a symphony. I wish I could have gone. Obviously I wasn't in Paris at the time, but look, there's a whole orchestra right here. And uh, this is, it actually makes me a little bit sad to hold this up because uh, Philippe Tsar from Cassius passed away just yesterday, the day before I'm filming this. So he, was a genius, mixing genius, musical genius, and um, it's just very sad that he passed away. So I'm going to keep this very close. There's a special um, rendition of I Love You So in this record. So very, very cool. I had to order this from Fanac in France. So my dad's favorite artist is Elton John, and I've been once again trying my best to collect stuff that my dad used to own 
So all of these are Elton John records right here. We have this guy, Elton John. We also have this one, the blue moves. And I also have this guy, which I almost forgot to take out. This is the Tom Bell Sessions from 1977. And we have the greatest hits right here. Elton John was ahead of its time and I just love how kitschy and kooky he is. Red Strikes Back. And finally, this is such a <laughs> this is such a cool record. I found it at at another thrift store. This is Elton John versus Finale. So Australian electronic duo. Elton John. It's super strange. I never expected this collaboration, but it's a good one. I really, really like it. Then we have Empress F, who's a Latina pop singer. A lot of her songs are in English and Spanish, so I think it's really cool. This is another Vinyl Me Please exclusive. This is Vice Let It Die, one of my all-time favorite records. It is just a beautiful album and this is also another vinyl me please record this is fiona apple flock of dimes is a band that i saw open up for sylvan esso and i really really liked her style so i had to get her album after the sylvan esso show this one right here is another one of my favorite albums this is gorillas demon days people went crazy for this when it came out on vinyl me please there were, there were so many up in up in arms about this selling out. It was crazy how fast it sold out with subscriptions. So I was glad that I got it. <laughs> Super glad. Contemplated on selling it, but I love the album so much that I just kept it. Then this guy right here. <laughs> this is Grizzly Bear, Horns of Plenty. This was a record store they released from a few years ago, and it has a marbled design on the actual record. It's really cool. I would take it out, but it's going to take me a while. <laughs> this video is also, it's already super long. This was a record that I got at Amoeba without really knowing much about the band. <laughs> Honestly, I just really like the cover. I don't even know how to pronounce this band. Is Hekuba? Oh, Hekuba? I don't know. But the cover is one of the coolest covers I've seen. We have the acoustic recordings. Let me see if I can take it out. It's getting a little tight now. So it looks like this is quite a heavy record, I will have to admit. And apart from that, apart from the heaviness, it's a really cool album because you get to hear a lot of his songs with the White Stripes, the Rock on Tours, his own work completely stripped down. Jamiroquay! Automatum! I <laughs> love this. This was probably the most expensive record I purchased, just like a traditional, nothing limited edition. But I loved it so much that I had to get it. We have Jenny Lewis, the Jenny Lewis block right here. This I picked up just a few weeks ago at her concert. So Jenny Lewis and the Watson twins rabbit fur coat i was so glad they finally repressed this because on ebay it was going for 80 almost 100 dollars so finally got this thank you jenny lewis then we have some of her solo albums of the voyager i don't like these album covers because then i can just pretend i'm as cool as jenny lewis but i'm not voyager and also we have her brand new record on the line again Let's just pretend for a few seconds. <laughs> Casey Musgraves, Golden Hour. Really, really catchy record. Hooked me on Casey Musgraves' discography. Then this album, this is Keep Shelly in Athens. Such a chill and relaxing record. <laughs> if you just want to relax in your patio or a beach, this is, this is the music to listen to. You'll just... You'll lose track of time. It's that relaxing. Now we're approaching the killers. And I have a few <laughs> killers albums <laughs> right here. So the one that takes up the most space in my collection, and I constantly feel like I should take it out of my collection, out of this section, because it just, it's so damn big. This is Hot Fuzz. So limited edition one. <laughs> 
I love it, but it is the bulkiest one in my collection. Then we have my favorite, my favorite Killers album, Sam's Town. We also have Day and Age. I have this hung up in my wall because I got Dave to sign it. During Day and Age, they really went hard on the picture discs. So I got this one. This is Spaceman with Brandon on the disc. Then I also have, wait, do I have two Brandons? Oh yeah, I have two. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. I think somebody gifted me one, but yeah, I have two. And then I also have Dave right here. Dave's disc is Human and Crippling Blow, a very underrated Killer's B-side. And last but not least, I have Wonderful Wonderful. This guy right here, which doesn't have its packaging either because I did have this sign. This is from an artist called Luce Alea. She is currently touring with Nouvelle Vague. And I loved her set so much that I had to get her album after the Nouvelle Vague show. And we also have Kylie Minogue. This is <laughs> Can't Get You Out of My Head. Classic. <laughs> Classic pop song. Then I did go through a freaking Lana Del Rey phase. Sorry. I was a sad Tumblr girl once upon a time. <laughs> so I have Born to Die in Paradise. After that, then I stopped being a sad uh, Tumblr girl. I moved on from my Lana Del Rey phase. But those are they're nice records. But I just have to be in the mood. And the mood is I need to be depressed as hell. Mac DeMarco. We have this guy that I picked up a few years ago on record store day. I showed it in one of my hauls on this channel. I don't know how you would say it. Methyl ethyl. Yeah, everything is forgotten. Just saw that they're coming to San Diego, so I'm gonna go see them. The album's super, the cover's super cool. Lock, it's in the wrong area. But this album I picked up based on the cover, and um, I actually ended up really liking this. Talking about Lost in Translation, here's the picture disc featuring Scarlett Johansson's butt. We have another round of Vinyl Me Please exclusives. This is Mitski, Be the Cowboy. Then we have Creepy Ass Moby, but his album play is really good. I really liked it when I was a kid. This is another Vinyl Me Please. This is Moses Subney. And another one, The National. Boxer. This was also released on Vinyl Me Please. This is also another Vinyl Me Please, but this wasn't a record of the month. This was just a, an exclusive pressing. This is Nest Night, Dream Girl. <laughs> Yet another one. Oops, sorry. Swear this video is not sponsored by Vinyl Me Please, but you can hit me up if you do want to sponsor me. <laughs> that's, the, that's the ongoing joke. <laughs> This is Noga Eris off the radar. Such a cool record. Sorry, my vocabulary sucks, but obviously I've been talking a lot in this video. This guy right here is Nortec Collective. They're from Tijuana. So when I saw this at Amoeba, I had to get it. They're really, really great people. Obviously, from Tijuana, the place I grew up in. A few days from now, I'm going to be seeing Paul McCartney once again. I love Paul McCartney. I love the Beatles. So we have Paul McCartney section right here. Band on the Run. We have Pipes of Peace right here. We have New, which is a newer, a newer addition to my collection. This guy right here is Play Paul. If you don't know who Play Paul is, he is... Guy Manuel's brother, Guy Manuel from Daft Punk, aka the Gold Helmet. This is his brother, and he has a few, uh, few songs. Not as much music as Daft Punk. It's not as good as Daft Punk, but he's a really cool guy. He's my Facebook friend. He loves to share memes. Here we have. This is the Phoenix section of uh, my collection. So let me. Let me show you everything I have. Like I said, huge Phoenix fan. I've been following Phoenix for a lot of the last three years. <laughs> There's a lot of vlogs of me just following Phoenix around from city to city. So 
they're one of my favorite bands and they're super cool dudes i do have two of their records up on my wall so i will be showing you that in a little bit so let's start with united first album i do have every <laughs> phoenix album on vinyl that collection i have completed so alphabetical which is my personal favorite Super underrated, underappreciated. They no longer play any of the songs from that album. Then we have It's Never Been Like That. Then we have their classic Wolfgang and Medea's Phoenix, which just turned 10 not too long ago. I do have this autograph. This was the first time I saw Phoenix and I met Phoenix. So it's a very special album for me. And then Vinyl Me Please just released a new pressing of it the 10th year anniversary pressing so it's this guy right here i was so excited when they announced this so obviously had to pick it up and it does come with a baby pink record then also from the wolfgang era there's this guy this is the Lidstomania remixes right here we also have Fences, which was released on Record Store Day. I picked this one up at Coachella. We have Bankrupt, which is my least favorite Phoenix album, but it's still a really good album in my opinion. It took some listens for me to like really get into this album. And finally, we have Tiamo, which is their latest album. One of my favorites. Such a good record. And I also do have this autographed. This is another ode to my MySpace days. We have Off Montreal. This was released on Record Store Day a few years ago. This is, if you're an Off Montreal fan, <laughs> this was like it. It's live recordings of their songs. They're such a great live band. And uh, it's just, every song takes me back to a specific moment in either my high school or college years. They're so weird. I love them. I can always just be a complete weirdo at their shows and it just feels so freeing. I, I just like that feeling. Nobody's judging me. So finally, please, exclusive Queen, A Night at the Opera, another one of my dad's favorite bands. So I'm going to obviously have to start with my collection. Then talking about Caroline Polachek from chairlift i do have her solo project from mona lisa since i purchased quite a few albums on my very first record store day at coachella i was given this guy this is the 2009 mix and it has franz ferdinand mgmt has q-tip gloss vegas what happened to gloss vegas i don't know cage the elephant <laughs> willie nelson one of my recent obsessions is uh rosalia so i had to get el mal querer on vinyl. The next record I have is from a French band. Uh, I basically picked this up because one of the guys who owned the record label, <laughs> I had a huge crush on him so I went to a record store day uh, event that hit him and his friends organized and uh, had to support <laughs> his record label. <laughs> this is Scarlet Queens outside play. I don't know if it's on Spotify but I was just being a supportive friend slash I had a crush on the dude. Solange right here. So me I <laughs> just randomly picked this one up at Amoeba. Then we have Spoon Hot Thoughts right here. I also do have this autograph so it's hanging up on my wall. And Hot Thoughts slash Love Letters that I picked up on Record Store Day. My all-time favorite female musician is St. Vincent. I've been following her career for a while now and it's been really cool to see how she's progressed and how her confidence has grown within each album. So I do have everything. I have Marry Me. I also have Actor right here. This was probably my first full collection that I <laughs> that I did. And I do have um, a few doubles because there's been different editions of some of her records. This one is Strange Mercy, which is my personal favorite. Um, this was the first time I saw St. Vincent live and it was in Paris. I did get to meet her. She is, well, at the time she was super shy, but very, very nice, very talkative as well. 
I also do have the David Byrne and St. Vincent album. Love this giant. This is very underappreciated in my opinion. I saw this tour and I was <laughs> the youngest person in my whole section. Like everyone around me, the people sitting in front of me, next to me, <laughs> they were like, aren't you a little too young to know David Byrne? And I was like, first of all, no. <laughs> And second, I came here for St. Vincent, and after the show, all of them were like, oh my gosh, she was so good. So then we have St. Vincent right here, her self-titled album. And I also picked up this bundle, which had this. This is probably the sharpest, <laughs> the sharpest record that I have. I did cut myself with one of the corners, but this has birth in reverse. Then I have another St. Vincent self-titled uh just a different edition and talking about different editions we have we have um mass seduction we have the one that i actually purchased and then the vinyl me please one what's next we have a uh, sylvanesso and it can't be a millennial record collection without <laughs> tame and paula lonerism i do need to get the other ones eventually Another one of my underrated favorite bands, favorite pop bands, is Tennis. So we have Rituals and Repeat right here. We have Yours Conditionally as well. This was my very first Vinyl Me Please record. This is what made me sign up to their subscription service. And then we have We Can Die Happy, which is their latest EP. This guy I also picked up at Amoeba. This is White Buildings. I just wanted a clear vinyl. Then we have U2 right here. This is U2 3D Dance Mixes. We're nearing the end. We have Uffy at Banger. Love me some Uffy. Again, takes me back to my MySpace days. And Washed Out Mr. Yellow right here. And then the one album, or collection actually, that I took out of this section was uh, Sebastian, so another Ed Banger artist. This I picked up at Record Store Day in Paris, so Record Store Day 2012. And this is the EP collection, so looks like this. It's one of my prized possessions. Sebastian is another French genius. If you ever get the chance to see him live, do it. We have more air. Playground Love. We have a 45. Billy Joel. Do we have any Jason Schwartzman fans in the house? This is Coconut Records. This is the Bored to Death theme song. Then we have Computer Magic. We got to meet her. Super sweet girl. Staff Punk Around the World. David Bowie. The stars are out tonight. This is the Vendra Benhard actually came in Mala. So this is something French and Loring Baker. Another record store they released, this is Jenny Lewis, just one of the guys. The actual record itself is this super cool teal shade. Then we have Lee and also El Perro del Mar. Deer Hoof and Off Montreal, record store they release. We have a few Phoenix ones, this is Entertainment. This one is Phoenix with Bill Murray. And we have Phoenix Love Life. So. Love Life, and then Love Life, sung by Giorgio Poi, who is an Italian singer. St. Vincent, one of my favorite B-sides, Crocodile, and we have Groot as well. We have Wings right here, Band on the Run, and we have Maybe I'm Amazed. And I love this because it has a little um, recording of Paul talking about the songs. We have Yell and Krugers, Cooler Cooler. Wyoming Please sometimes likes to send you seven inches. Mysterious seven inches. So we have two of those. So we have Alice Glass that I picked up after her show. This one is First Aid Kit. We have another record store they released. This is Phoenix Monologue. More Casey Musgraves. This is High Horse Remixes. Father John Misty. Star Wars record store they release. Rey Pila, which I recently picked up in Mexico City after seeing them live. Really good. <laughs> they're basically, they're part of Julian Casablanca's record label, so you can definitely hear the influence. Then we have some 
you to 12 inches because my dad's part of the fan club so we have the live at the marquee 1980 and then we also have the joshua tree singles i am super sweaty but last but not least let me show you what i have autographed on my wall so like i said we have devender ben hart so his initials he wanted to add my initials too and then inside it says famipana so for my friend <laughs> It was really sweet. Then we have Spoon right here, Hot Thoughts, uh, Chromio. I have to get up on my bed so I can show you this. So this is St. Vincent, David Byrne. I don't have David Byrne's autograph, but I do have St. Vincent. Dear Laura, love St. Vincent. Mika. Well, this is CD, but still. We have some Mika. We have some Brandon Flowers. This is his first solo album, Flamingo. We have a Phoenix Heat Wave, Heat Wave cassette. Right below this section, you'll see Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix. This is my favorite autograph record. It's so special to me. I love that they always write little messages. And this one is Ti Amo. Again, another little message up here from Bronco. Not a record, I already showed you this painting. We have Lisa Alea right here. St. Vincent, Strange Mercy, first time I met her. Super sweet. <laughs> Not a record again. Not a record. And then we have oh, Nuva Vag MGMT CDs autographed and The Killers Day and Age. All right, so that was the end of this video. I'm so tired from talking so much, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions down below or if you have any video suggestions for music related stuff. I would love to hear what you guys have in your minds. Uh, let me know what you guys have in your collections and what your favorite bands and artists are. I would love to know. I love talking about music. so. <laughs> I would love to know. I also will link some of my music related vlogs in the cards up above this video in case you're interested in more music content. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you're brand new. <laughs> I'm almost forgetting to be a good YouTuber. I'm just so tired. Subscribe if you're brand new. Give this video a like and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Now I need to kind of organize this and uh, eventually make more room for <laughs> more records maybe i can rearrange my cds this is for another day or maybe not i don't know i feel like people are not as into cds as they are records but i still have my cd collection <laughs> thank you guys so much once again i'm gonna go get some water i'll see you soon in my next video bye